I'm really saying my mind. Happy Thursday. And excuse the ridiculous music in the background, I don't know what that is. As usual, I'm running late, but I wanted to quickly tell you what I'm doing today before I leave, because otherwise, what would be the point? Um, today is the day that all the rest of my course put on their um, performances. Obviously, I didn't choose any performance modules this year, but um, they are all putting on their performances today, and so I'm going to be doing front of house for it. And yeah, that's what I'm doing today. If I ever make it to uni, I'm also going to have a lecture. No, not a lecture. A meeting with my tutor first to talk about my essay, and then front of house. And it's raining, which is really bad because one of them is in town. So we'll have to see what happens. I will see you in my next vlog. Hello, I'm home. That was a crazy day. Absolutely crazy. I went to uni and I had a really good lecture. Uh, I had a really good meeting with my lecturer about my essay. But then um, I did front of house, which is just where you do the speech, you bring everybody into the performance um, for two performances. And then I went to help my friends on my course because they chose to do their performance in town. And they were doing a, um, I've just noticed my flowers are really dying. Over there, the flowers are dying. These ones here. Anyway, so I went to help them in town because they had a piece where they made a kind of a structure out of flats, which are like probably about the height of this wall, I don't know. But um, they made a structure out of these flats and half of it was a nice, the, the point of their piece was to raise awareness for homeless people, uh, because obviously it's a really hard time of year for homeless people um, as Christmas, as Christmas and it's surrounded by, you know, gluttony almost but um so half of the thing was um th their name was so this is christmas and if you're in england or if you're anywhere go on twitter and they have a they have a twitter that's um so this is christmas i think it is i don't know they have they made a twitter out of it yeah it's called so this is christmas with a question mark that's their twitter and um basically they were we were asking people why well, i've help them so we were asking people to go to their twitter and sign the petition they had a whole full set with a christmas tree in the middle and then half the christmas tree was decorated obviously and um the other half wasn't and the other half was just like a sleeping bag and like nothing there and um there was lots of other little bits but we were just helping people and um so i've been doing that since two i think yeah two probably two o'clock and it's now quarter past four but it was freezing the wind was so bad at one point the whole entire thing fell on me <laughs> just about halfway through the whole um like structure just fell on us because the wind was just too much even though these they were all really quite secure the wind was just too much so we had to then quickly try and get it all back together we had strangers helping us it was so nice um and then the examiners came and examined it and everything like that but it was fun um, but it really crazy and now I'm gonna go out for dinner well in an hour I'm gonna go out for dinner with my family friends and then it is my course Christmas party tonight so that's what we're doing now fun times okay I should do some work because I have work to give in tomorrow well not to give in but to show tomorrow so over and out I'm just eating some bread and I'm dipping it in some olive oil and vinegar because it's my favourite thing to dip and I just think it's so cool how the vinegar goes in the oil, isn't that crazy? All the bubbles. Isn't the world a crazy place that that can do that? <laughs> I could just sit here and stare at this. Hello, now I am going to go for my dinner. Literally across the road. And the funny thing is, is that I can see my family friends whether they have got, whether they have arrived or not, from my window. So, how stalkerish on a scale of 1 to 10 is that? I would say a safe 9.9. .9. Um, but I can see them, so I'm going to wait till they go and then I will meet them. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Thursday night. And I'm about to go and have fish and chips for the first time in this time I've been by the sea, which is pretty shocking if you are a seaside liver humble 
a boda. I have no idea what I'm saying. But anyway, now I'm going to go and eat some dinner. I just got back from dinner. We had a really good fish and chip dinner, but it's a restaurant that it only serves fresh fish from the sea, um, so it closes when it's run out of fish, so it closes at 7pm, which is strange probably in comparison to other restaurants. But yeah, now I'm just sat on my sofa working out what I'm going to do next in my life. I think that what I'm going to do right now is the most exciting thing that's going to happen. I am going to do this, just you wait and see what I'm about to do. First of all, we're going to turn the light off. And next, I'm going to close my curtains because it creeps me out. Because people can see in my room, basically, if they were to look that way. And now, I'm going to... Oh my goodness. This is the most exciting thing to happen in a while. My big case is coming out so I can pack it ready for Saturday. Is everybody excited to go back to London? I'm excited to go back to London. London Christmas footage, then Paris footage, then London Christmas footage, then Paris footage. I think the fish and chips has gone to my head a little bit. But anyway, I um, need to work out what I have to pack because I have to pack, like, I'm not joking, probably about 15 books. So that that's pretty much gonna shut down everything else that I want to put in here. Um, and it's closed. This is my favourite bag. I bought this bag for the first time I went to Bulgaria with George and I bought it with my money that I got from my 18th birthday and I'm always going to look after it because it's mine and it's my bag and I don't know what's wrong with me why I'm speaking like this at the moment. I apologise and I have to try and get this bag back to London on Saturday on two trains. No, yeah, two trains. But let's open it. It even has a little lock thing, so you can lock your keys, uh, keys, lock your, um, and I have a strap. Bright pink and yellow strap, which I actually showed you me buying back in July. So you can go look at that if you want to. Wow, I've actually got to that point in the vlogs where I can relate back to points in my life. And they're on the vlogs. I never thought that would happen back when I started doing this in July but now I can actually say go back and watch the video I did in July and you can see my phone just vibrated oh. <laughs> let's answer my phone on camera George Nikolov I'm still working he's still working guys just in case you didn't know he's still working I don't know why I'm filming this. It's probably not that interesting. Hello again! Thanks for seeing me filming my face. I am now about to go to my. Where am I going? My. Courses Christmas party, not really a Christmas party, more like a Christmas get together with half the course. But I'm gonna leave in two days, so I kind of want to enjoy being in my university town for a little bit longer. So that's where I'm gonna be going. I don't think I'm gonna be filming anything, maybe I will, I'm not sure. My just phone just went off. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going. Put my all I've done is put some, all I've done is put some, um lipstick on my lips so yeah that's it <laughs> exciting um i keep seeing my keys and thinking don't look at me keys um the i don't have lipstick on my lips actually it's like a lip stain it's the one by smashbox i'm actually going to pick it up so if anyone wants to know what it is i will tell you right this very minute it is this one by Smashbox, and it is the Smashbox Limitless Lip Stain and Color Seal Balm. It really is limitless, but you pay for it. And it is in the cover. It is in the color Guava. It's a really nice color. I definitely recommend it. I've had this for over three years now, so go get you some. Hello, I'm now back from my whatever it was Christmas module party reunion thing. Um, it was fun, it was good to see the people before. Um, 
I leave for Christmas but obviously I had to leave early because I have a lecture tomorrow unlike anybody else because I'm the only person doing the module so I had to leave early and um, now I've got to do a bit more work and have a shower and then get into bed it was such a busy day but really crazy and it was fun actually I really liked the way that the performance turned out that my classmates did and I enjoyed just being part of it and um, yeah so excited to get finished my bag is looking very empty but I know I'll have lots of that to do tomorrow and I also have lots of editing to do tomorrow so bring on Friday let's do this okay I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>